never run out of juice again. Introducing you Powerhouse from Anka 767. Are you ready for full review? Coming up. Let's do quick unboxing. Okay, I'm not the best with the numbers. Uh, and I just want to get the real world scenario test for you to give it an idea. How long will this power bank be running certain devices in my house? The caravan and my electric car. I mean the electric car, this is more for emergencies. But it will be interesting to see how many miles we will be able to get from the power bank. And I have to say, the packaging is very good. It came in the big pallet. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Okay, now I think I need to flip it upside down. It does what it says on the box. Now, guys, this powerhouse is heavy. It weighs 30 kilograms, okay? So be prepared. Right, so this is the unit itself. Okay, so we got a little pouch. Manual. And the power bank itself. Nice. So we've got three different cables to power this. So we've got solo up to one, two, three, four, five solo panels. I don't have any of that, so I will not be able to check that the main and that's for the car really nice so this is unit itself right it started to rain but never mind i'm gonna use the handle to drag this across the grass it's good because the wheels are pretty big so now i can start mowing the grass On the top of that, I did all this. I mean, it doesn't look big, but it was like a little jungle to be honest. But yeah, so far so good. Okay, grass done. Here and there, we have 84%. Uh, but I want to top it up to 100, and then we're gonna plug the caravan and see how much uh, batteries are going to use. Shouldn't take long to top it up and it's still pretty bright so we should be able to get some energy from the solar. So this is the unit itself and I have to say I love its build quality. You've got your display and it's pretty cool because there is a Bluetooth available so all you have to do download the app finder here and then you're ready to go so basically you can just track what's going on if you are within the uh, Bluetooth range so I think that's pretty pretty cool so first one I like is the the light this is emergency for caravaning camping like if your kids are scared of dark and you have this outside there this will give you loads of light for the caravaning trips nice and bright display you got power saving mode this is the button to reset her you got three AC outlets it's great because you can turn it on and off each individual one here so this is for your car socket we've got two so in total there is a 10 outputs you've got two type C's and then two times A and these are fast one 100 watts that's pretty insane well let's have a look on the other side and uh, now here we've got some fans so when you are charging is just using the fan on the other side that's for your solar panels if you want to charge this powerhouse 
uh, reset button and an uh, AC block. However, if you buy additional power bank, you can plug this in and double the size of this unit to make it five kilowatts. That's pretty big. But for, you know, for like a normal day today, this 2000 watts will be absolutely fine. All right, let's drag the powerhouse so we can test and see how long will actually a caravan run on the power bank. I've got a little adapter here, so that should be able to get me connected. I'm gonna get it through the window. The last thing really, I want to have the powerhouse worth 2,000 pounds here in front of the house, so that's the plan. Just want to give you an idea really, we have another chance to go caravanning this year, but it is there on the drive, so why not use it to show you guys how long would it run it on this powerhouse. So I'll see you in the morning. So the caravan's on, you can tell it'll run another 15 hours like this, so not bad at all. It is without any heating on. However, as soon as you turn the heating on, even on the lower setting, I have to show you this. It looks like we can only get two and a half hours on the battery. You can see the output from 50 changed to 500. That's a huge difference. Okay, so this is the most exciting now. Charging my car. The battery's full. Let's take it outside and charge my MG4. Right, so let's just quickly have a look at the percentage of the battery. I've got 42%, 113 miles remaining. Let's see how much this powerhouse will be able to add to my car and how quickly uh, will it able to do it. Let's find out. And now I can tell because the fan is going really loud that the car is charging. So it looks like it will take about an hour until we recharge the car. Taking about two kilowatts, not bad. So I'll leave the car there and I'll come back in about an hour. Guys, so I was not far off. However, the capacity of the battery is a little bit smaller than I thought. But hey, there is a also energy loss, so we should be prepared for that. So there's not exactly two kilowatts, there'll be like 0.75 something. So we got two percent remaining, and we're gonna go to the car and check how much percentage we managed to get and how many miles. Let's wait and see. So we managed to top it up with 2% and 8 miles. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but for emergency, that could save your life. So I have to say I am pretty happy about that. What's great about Anka, they give you five years warranty on that unit, which is brilliant. On the top of that, they're claiming if you use it for 10 years every single day, you're still going to have about 80% capacity, which is pretty insane. And just as a comparison, I had a Nissan Leaf uh, for five years be before I bought this car, and I did about 70,000 70, miles, and there was only a 79% capacity after five years. So it looks like technology is going in the right direction that's it for today hope you enjoyed this episode i have another job for me to do i need to mow the grass where my cable extension does not read so i'm happy i've got my anchor powerhouse 767 please let me know your thoughts about this device make sure you check out at anchor website because they're doing some pretty cool discounts at the moment cheers i'll catch you in the next video